Hello everyone, we are officially live. I'm trying this live thing as well, I think on shorts. Unfortunately, you all won't be able to see Mons on that version, uh, but welcome in to anybody who's new. This is our She Speaks podcast, which you can listen in podcast form, or you can watch us here on different platforms. So if you're joining us from any other platforms outside of Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or the Shorts platform as well, welcome in. I'm super excited to have you all in here. This is actually going to be our first podcast of 2024. It's kind of crazy that we're already in February. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, be sure to subscribe right now and um, be sure to subscribe as well to all of my other platforms. And um, some exciting news, we do have an editorial site up and running. So if you haven't been to our Shade uh, Studios website, be sure to go to Shade Studios to check out all of our editorial uh, different content that we're putting up. If you prefer to read about sneakers or even are interested in entertainment, specifically movies and TV shows, we are definitely up and running on that platform. So super excited to see all of the additional team members that we're bringing on board this year and uh, seeing some great expansion for Shade TV. Uh, but we are in the works of working on a completely new channel as well. I know that most of you are here to support us for sneakers and it has been a moment since we've put up some sneaker content but we're going to be getting back into the rhythm of things here shortly uh, but I'm going to bring on Mons and we're going to talk about what's been going on for 2024 so far what's been happening in January some of our recent pickups that we've had uh, as well as maybe topics that uh, just have been going and surfacing around the uh, sneaker industry Yes, I did, His Excellence. Um, good to see you all in here, though. I know it's been a minute, so Terrence, uh, Chris, uh, Retro Kicks, it's amazing to always have your support and to see you all in here with me live. But um, I'm going to bring on my co-host, Mons, here in a second. And, uh, yeah, let's get this party started here. Oh wait, where did my little screen go? Let me just bring Mons in. Give me one second, everyone. We're going to be bringing Mons in here in a second. If you don't already follow Mons, be sure to check her out. She's got a great YouTube channel as well. And uh, she's got some great styling tips as well, where she kills the game pumping out amazing content on different looks. And uh, yeah, we are looking for a great 2024 year where we get to talk about our kicks. Having just a couple technical difficulties, but we're gonna bring her in a second. All right, here she hey. is. Hey, Mons. Hey, how are you? Welcome in. Super excited to be back at it, talking about sneaks with you. Well, thank you uh, for having me as always. And to everyone that's joining us today, 
Um, I know this is so late because it's February, but happy 2024. Um, like Marissa said, this is our first live of the year, but excited to be back and just to continue talking about sneakers and everything, you know, in between. So great to be back. Yeah, we've got just, oh, it's crazy. I feel like January flew by and I think for some people it was like the slowest month, but for me, I was just like, wow. What's been going on? I mean, I've got like my notebook of goals in front of me right here of like what I wanted to accomplish in January. Yeah. I did not complete that at all, but you know, that's cool. <laughs> you know, we do we do what we can do. Um, so yeah, I know that January has been kind of a weird month and I feel like every year mm -hmm. it's always quiet and slow. There's not as much excitement behind the releases mm -hmm. out of the gate, mm -hmm. but I kind of like it. It's like my refresh month. <laughs> Oh, I have to agree with you. I love January, not because it's also my birth month, but because like you said, it's a great way to kind of just refresh and just kind of like reconnect, at least like with myself. And like you mentioned, some goals that I want to achieve for the year and for the month. But yeah, we're just getting started. So even if we didn't get to some of the goals that we didn't hit in January, it's still February, a long way to go. So yeah. And it's a um, leap year. So we get we get some extra yeah. time, I guess. <laughs> You know, so I hope that's a positive um, thing for us and, you know, a lot more uh, days to enjoy. Yeah. So we've got a couple topics. I know a few of you probably have already seen it in the news or even on Twitter. Uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, just a, a little bit of news always going around in the sneaker community that Mons and I will mm -hmm. kind of go through. And then, of course, we'll talk about mm -hmm. a few of our pickups. It has been pretty light, I think, for the both of us. But that's probably great for our wallets, Mons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I cannot complain. And just spoiler, everybody, I actually have not picked up any sneakers for 2024 yet. So we'll see how long that goes. <laughs> That's all right. It's OK. It's it's for the best. I feel like every year I feel like January is always mm -hmm. my lighter kind of just slowly making my way into my purchases. And yeah, I feel like for everyone, it's just kind of been a light pickup year. But yeah. Um, that's all right. Save, mm -hmm. save it. We've got how many months left? So we can save our money and apply yeah. it to each month moving forward. <laughs> yep, exactly. Especially since we do tend to see a lot of releases towards the mid and the end of the year. So I'm honestly savoring all of this time to not necessarily have to purchase everything, but just be more intentional with what I end up getting. But I do have a couple mm -hmm. pairs to share today. Um, just maybe not in, you know, like, for me or in the like recent few weeks, I guess you could say. That's all right, that's all right. I mean, one of them I'm gonna talk about was a gift anyways. So um, yeah, you know, a late, a late pickup, but something I really wanted for 2024. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I also got seated a couple things, so I'll probably talk nice. about those items as well. Um, okay. But I know that a lot, I feel like has been going on in the kith realm of things. So uh, for those of yeah. you who haven't seen the news or been talking about the news on the new kind of kith tier membership program, mm -hmm. I know, you know, for those of you who've been buying kith for years and years and years, I know it'll be great for you specifically because... Mm -hmm they're going back and actually adding whatever purchases you've made in the past and applying that towards your tiers. And they're even actually allowing you to combine uh, mm. different email addresses as well. And I was really thankful for mm. that just because I actually realized mm. I was using mm. two email accounts. And um, yeah. when I combined both of them, I was able to make the top tier uh, on well, things. Nice. Yeah, um, but of course, it also reminded me how much I've spent on Kith <laughs> in the past few years. I'm like, wow, okay, all right. That, that's a nice little reminder of probably things I purchased and I didn't really actually need. But, um, you know, hopefully it will, I guess, pay it <laughs> forward this year and unlock some things that maybe we'll have early access to. We'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> no, I think that's really exciting. And I mean, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Ronnie had mentioned that it's like the past 12 years of purchasing history. Yes, which 12, is very long 12 years. So, I've not, you know, I've not been good. with Kith for 12 years, Mons. I don't know about you. Maybe like half the time of that. Um, 12 I years ago, remember. I could not afford it. <laughs> not 12 years, but um, it's been some time. I was actually trying to think back how long I've been um, having a Kith membership or just been like a part of the community and stuff and it's been at least like 
six, seven years, I think, if I had mm. to recall. Um, but yeah, like you said, I'm really looking forward to this program, not only just so um, they're able to give back to the community that's been supporting them all these years, but just an opportunity to get early access on drops and to have specific collections for each tier I thought was really, really cool. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to how this program pans out uh, as we continue on in the year. So. Got it. So for those of yeah. you who are on the live stream, I know you're saying you can't hear Mons. I wish there was a way, Mons, that I could bring you on my shorts mm. live feed as well. Because I realize mm. now that I'm going live, they can only huh. hear me, but not you. So I feel like I'm going to have to reiterate what Mons is saying oh, to all of you who are on my shorts live. But she is really excited for the tears as well. Um, congrats yeah. to anyone who made the top tier level or any of the levels. He's also giving like random opportunities for you to add points, which is kind of cool. So if you download yeah. the app or actually go on the app, you're rewarded to have points. Um, I think signing up your email as well, you get points there. If you actually enter raffles, mm -hmm. you get points that way. Just cause I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of people were probably maybe like a hundred points short or something just like so right. close where you're like, ah. Yeah. I don't really want to buy anything right now, but like, I I'm only 50 right points here. away. Maybe I could get a pair of socks, but like, we all know Kiss socks yeah. are not just like the cheapest in general, but you know, you do what you got to do, I guess, to, to level up. What's up, yeah. Rafi in the house tonight? We got Rafi. We got the, the Pinoy family all, all together, Mons. <laughs> we love seeing the community together. Um. But yeah, like you said, I was actually looking through some other ways uh, to get points, like you said, into the cumulative, um, you know, point collection. But mm -hmm. yeah, like you said, well, that they try to make it as interactive as possible. Like you can check in at different locations. Or, yeah. Um, uh, like you said, I forgot about the check in. I just don't go out yeah. enough anymore. I realized I used to be, I feel like at the kit store all the time. And now I'm like, when's the last time that I've had a kid's treats? But then again, it's so cold in New York. The last thing I'm thinking about, honestly, is taking an ice cream outside. But um, the Kiss Soho location was always my, like, favorite place really? to just people watch upstairs. After you yeah. get your ice cream, you just kind of, like, stare. Mm -hmm. And that corner, for some reason, is the best, like, fashion runway show you'll ever mm -hmm. experience, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know what it is about that one specific, like, four-corner block. Mm -hmm. But, like, everyone is dressed to impress. And it's almost like they know that they need to walk that one street so that people mm -hmm. can see their outfit. No, <laughs> I should just hold like numbers outside the window and be like, you're a 10, you're a five, yeah. you know? That would be so funny. <laughs> you fun. look amazing. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just have to make it out there to check it out, but. I know, yeah, we gotta I get Mons out here, everyone. <laughs> I know, I'm. Do we need a Mons fun me trip? That we have I to know, create like, fun fun moms to, to be able to fly out here. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I will make it out there. I just have to plan it accordingly. Um, but yeah, I love the check-ins because then you can collect those little icons for your app and you can kind of pick oh, depending yeah. on, you know, whichever location you're at. So I actually uh -huh. have the Hawaii icon on mine because that one's my favorite. But yeah, I think it's really cool how they make it as interactive as possible. So yeah, you're not necessarily forced to um buy anything necessarily so yeah yeah it's it's almost just like it's nice to be rewarded in a weird way to buy things yeah. i always was weird about signing and giving my email address to different companies and now i'm just with all the great perks i mean even krispy kreme yeah. for my birthday got a yeah. dozen donuts for free for actually just going there 10 times which i'm sorry yeah i go there a lot uh but uh you know being rewarded for small <laughs> things is great oh we've got to a car in the house what's good girl good to see you in here happy new year hope you're doing well to is also a great stylish one oh on the youtube platform she always is killing it mm -hmm. and um yeah go and follow her as well everyone uh we need more women out there supporting each other so it's always good yeah. to see you know the women mm -hmm. holding it down on the youtube platform because as mm -hmm. you know you can attest moms it is not easy to create content um, on this space. It is, it's a lot of work. It really, really is. And um, I appreciate all the women out there that are, you know, just out there doing your thing and, you know, putting in that that work. Because 
I think on the other side of the end of the camera, it looks so easy, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's very time consuming, but you know, we love yeah. doing what we do and that's why we're here together talking about sneakers on this podcast. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited actually for the Daniel Cathari New Balance yeah. release. I don't know if you've seen the photos for that, but yes. as some of you may or may not have heard of who Danielle is, she, I feel like, has been in the sneaker community for quite some time. Um, I feel like I kind of found out about her with her first collaboration she did with Adidas. And yes. do you remember that tracksuit? Like, every girl had this tracksuit. And I was jealous because I was like, where did you get that tracksuit? But then, of course, exactly. it's it's too late, honestly, at that point. When you see it on someone's body, you're like, oh, it's probably sold out. And, uh, yeah, it's probably sold out. probably not available. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but see, my thoughts were so sick. And I mean, at that time as well, definitely something that I would have worn. Um, since at the time, I was still kind of like dabbling through which brands I love the most. But yeah, mm -hmm. Adidas is a So. Yeah, I feel like it definitely set her on the map. Also, like I've looked at her pieces that she's got from her own line, which I think are super dope, but the price point is it's definitely up there. I would say for some of her jackets, it's around like 900 to a grand. So, yeah. you know, you really you really got to love those pieces. Um, right. But whenever you see someone like Danielle do a collaboration with an Adidas, it brings that price down dramatically so yeah, you're getting the yeah. best of both worlds right you're getting to experience that designer but you're also you know not having to break the bank <laughs> necessarily yeah. i know takara it's like i i honestly had to just check the site out to see what's going on yeah. there are sales now but man like the pieces that she's selling are they're up there and but you know it kind of makes sense though after looking at her kind mm -hmm. of aesthetic ronnie's price mm -hmm. point as well it's almost as if yeah. like it makes sense that he selected her to be the creative director because you know it's already i feel like who she is and going back to like kith as a brand and the look and aesthetic of kith and the price range it's just yeah. kind of like a good pairing and i feel like ronnie almost is, is trying to create like a almost a female version i feel like of like him and what he's done for yeah. the kith brand itself and the mm -hmm. store, I've seen images. I actually haven't been yet, but oh, it looks really? amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. It looks, I'm That's probably going to go this yeah. week, to be honest with you, Ooh, just because they're, sure they're giving, videos. they're giving yes, matcha, uh, I think, desserts out to match the sneakers. I saw that they partnered yeah. with um, Cora Bakery, if I'm not Cora mistaken. Cora Bakery from Queens. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is so cool. And I am a sweets girl. So are I'm you a sweets girl? <laughs> Oh, I'm a sweets girl. Mons is a group. sweets girl, everyone on my shorts live. I know you can't hear her. Um, <laughs> right? I know. Mons is definitely the sweets, sweet tooth, which um, it's exciting, though, that she's kind of, you know, bringing a dessert dish that matches the aesthetic and color scheme of the shoe. I feel like it's going to mm -hmm. look great. Takara, yes, you need to come out here again. I feel like it's been a minute, Takara, since you've last visited New York, but... Um, yeah, we got to do something together. I don't know. I feel like we all have to like plan something. We got to get Mons out here too. A girls trip or something. I think that kind of seems necessary now. We can just do, you know, some content together. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, no, definitely. Um, yeah, I know that you're planning on going to Asia. So super jealous. I'm going to have to <laughs> jump in your suitcase, Mons. <laughs> we come along um, for, you know, news to everyone i am going to asia soon and i'm so so excited i haven't been in over four or five years and it's just such a long overdue trip it's probably my first international trip since since covid honestly i've been kind of just straying away from any international trips since then but i think now is a really great time to go so i'm really looking forward to it so a lot of content coming through because it's going to be a good time and Yay. i can't wait to see well i'm excited to see it i know people are asking on the shorts live where the other live is it's actually playing on other platforms so it's on youtube streaming not in the vertical but the horizontal frame so you can see mons on there as well or i can kind of like relay some of what Mons is saying to you right now as well. But um, mm -hmm. I didn't know that YouTube just kind of rolled out this new feature. So I actually wanted to kind of test it out, which is exciting. Yeah. Well, now so, that we know, we can, we can definitely test drive it, but you know. Yeah, we're test driving it. 
I just wish there was a way to kind of format us. I guess I vertically where you would fit on top of me so they could hear as well. But oh you yeah, know. the configuration. Maybe that's that. coming. Okay. You know, everything <laughs> comes with challenges. We'll figure it out and yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you to everyone. Well, I know you probably have to relate this, but thanks to everyone that's tuning in on the Shorts Live. Because Mons, thanks all of you for tuning in on the Shorts Live as well. Just relaying what she's saying on over to all of you. Uh, and of course, everybody else who is jumping in on our stream from any of the other platforms. Um, but yeah, so what else has been going on in your world as far as uh, pickups, Mons? I know it's been light, as so you said. Like Yes, it was very light and like you said, very good for my wallet because then I can really save for the pieces that I want. But I'm going to share a pair that actually ended up coming out in December on Christmas. And I actually ended up getting them like a little bit on the later side, so early January. So that's when I was finally able to use them. But I think you'll be very proud to know I got my Ooh, first Samba. You got your first song. <laughs> Welcome to the Samba team, Mons. We're so excited for you. And now we know your size because that was the big thing. I was like, Mons, what is your size? Like, I need to know your size. Well, so the funny thing is I ended up trying the Samba OGs and I'm a six and a half mints, which is my true to size. They fit perfect. Um, mm -hmm. I found them at one of the outlets here in Southern California, tried them on and they were and they were great. However, with the Clarks pair and for those who aren't familiar, this is the collab between Kith or Ronnie mm -hmm. um, Clarks originals and Adidas Samba. So quite the trio yes. here. That's and it is one of two colorways that came out on Christmas. This is the core black colorway. The other one I believe was called collegiate green. And on the three stripes, it had the red, blue, and green, very holiday-esque. But for me, I definitely wanted something more neutral for my first pair. And I have been using it pretty religiously. Like I'm kind of embarrassed to show I'm proud of you, Mons. I'm like, here, what? those have some miles. <laughs> We will go on, you know, I've taken them up to the Bay Area for some trips and um, yeah, they've definitely got some miles on them. So I need to clean them, but I love them so much and I'm just really excited to be part of the Samba crew now. And now I get the hype. Now I see why everyone is on the Sambas and why they love it so much. And this is no exception to how great they are. And I love the fact that that it is a thicker sole compared to the other Sambas that we typically see. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just kind of adds some additional comfort and yeah, just a different look as well with the crap out sole, so. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody who yeah. can't hear Mons, she's now a Samba believer. She has jumped yeah. on the bandwagon. <laughs> Gonna have to Definitely. see as her collection unfortunately expands into different colorways and different types of sambas. Uh, but yeah, that's a great pickup. I guess since we're talking about Adidas. Thank you. So this was something that was gifted to me for Christmas. And I talked a lot about this last year as this kind of being like mm -hmm. probably my like number one pick of 2023. Mm -hmm. And this is yes. the Wales Bonner collaboration with Adidas. I've already honestly seen a lot of different sneakers that she's gonna be coming out with Adidas this year. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about yeah. them, but this by far, every time I wear it, like people legit stop me, even in dark places, because it's so bright and it's the only thing they can see, but they're like, whoa, where did you get these? Uh, so definitely really happy um, to have been gifted these. And yeah, it's just like such a great sneaker that I've been having fun with dressing up and going out mm -hmm. with. And of course, like yours, they're extremely dirty, but you can't tell because yeah. it's a brown outsole. <laughs> so it looks yeah, like I haven't really worn them, well. but I've definitely <laughs> worn these to many places yeah. already. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> why do women sneakers better than men sneaker? Why do women sneakers better than men? Are you asking why women sneakers are better than men sneakers? I know that we've definitely been getting a lot more women exclusives yeah. um, the past year. I think last mm -hmm. year was probably the most women exclusives I've ever seen, like over the decades. Like, I mean, I they did a lot last year. I think mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, we've been getting spoiled. And I love to see all of, you know, these women, women sneakers, and I just wanted to continue growing. And I yeah. mean, in reality, of course, I would love it to just, you know, like be a sneaker for everybody that doesn't have to be necessarily a women's sneaker per se. Mm -hmm. But 
I'm loving it. Takara, I love the gazelles. On. Yeah, you got to get on the gazelle bandwagon too, Mons. But I've got a bunch of gazelles, Takara. Honestly, like I got a bunch of them from Europe because I feel like Europe, for some reason, with gazelles, they like own that silhouette out there. And they have the best colorways that you don't see in the U.S. And I always get bummed because I'm like, I love this specific silhouette, but it sucks when it's not released in the States because, you know, of course we have different colorways, but it sucks when you see better colorways that you'd rather have than the ones that we have out here. Um, but uh, definitely picked up a lot of gazelles yep. last year that were European exclusives. And unfortunately, they actually never released in the States, um, oh, really? okay. which is a bummer. Yeah, I got a lot of pastel colorways. I got like a blue, I think it was a coral tone and a yellow. But yeah, like they, I, it is more of a European silhouette that I feel like it's right. definitely much bigger out there, but it is starting to become more of a trend again in the U.S. But definitely, mm -hmm. I feel like we're going to see a lot more colorways in those more European styles from Adidas this year. We're going to see a bigger rollout of that, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to see some new colors. Yeah. And I've been seeing just okay. some GR releases of Sambas and the leather quality, like they've really just upped their mm -hmm. game with the quality on that mm -hmm. silhouette. So it's been pretty yeah. exciting and impressive to see mm -hmm. that on shelves. Um, mm -hmm. what else? I, so I did get actually seated this from mm -hmm. Jeff Staple. So shout out to Jeff, the homie. Uh, he's been killing it with collabs. Literally. Yeah. Uh, nice. this is a Puma. I love, very cute. And this is a Puma 180. And I've actually, like, I've never seen the silhouette. I believe this is actually brand new. This is a Chinese New Year edition. And I think I actually, let me see here. It came with, I know this is something else. This is with my other Chinese New Year. I have like so many special editions over here that have like these fun little trinkets. Oh, here it is. So the box is sick. So I really want to show everybody what the box looks like. We've got the red envelope on the top it. with Staples name. And then, yeah, it's really cool. So we've got like the dragon on the side there. But Puma, I'm it's hit or miss for me with Puma. And I really like this. I'm not going to lie. Like Jeff did his thing. It has such a really cool aesthetic. I think that the colorway yeah. on this is really cool. I'll try and hold it up on both cameras mm -hmm. so you can kind of see the wear and tear. He made it very vintage just so it's kind of got mm -hmm. that, you know, already lived in kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, I can definitely you see, see it? on the midsole, which I think is really nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that this one was a new silhouette, so it looks really good. Yeah, I mean, I always love Jeff's mm -hmm. collabs. I always feel like they're very wearable, and it's definitely always around some cool storyline, but he really did his thing with this one and I'm really excited for him. And of course he's always got like a million different collabs he's yeah. pumping out <laughs> left true. and right. So I always try and keep up with him, but um, yeah. I'm so thankful. Shout out to Jeff again for sending these my way. Uh, I actually, you know what? I got a shirt with this too. I haven't even um, boxed this shirt. So I guess we'll do it now for all of you. But there's also a capsule okay. collection with this Puma release. And the shirt actually aesthetically matches perfectly. It's the same kind of cream Ooh. color. Ooh, the back oh, though. Wow. I have to show the back. I love the back. The year I don't know if it's of because the it's dragon. But I feel like all of the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year designs have been so beautiful and I am loving all of the dragon um, designs and merch coming out. It's, it's a great. big year, the year of the dragon. I'm the year of the tiger. Any year of the dragons out there? I know. I only <laughs> know one person that's the of the dragon. Um, I always thought I was a dragon, dragon, but I that was me as a kid. I think I thought a tiger was a dragon as a young child. And my mom was <laughs> like, no, that's not a dragon. That's a tiger. I'm like, oh, are you sure, mom? She's like, yeah. Are you sure? Uh, are you positive? like yeah that's, that's tiger sweetie i'm like okay mom it's a dragon <laughs> right like whatever you say
But I guess sticking with the Chinese New Year, I also got the Air Jordan 1 Low Chinese New Year edition. And okay. this is really yeah. cool. It's kind of got, you know, the jade <laughs> effect going on here. And we've got yeah. some gold on the back. For those of you who celebrate Chinese New Year or don't know much about the history of it, um, red is a good luck color. Eight also, very lucky. And my channel has a lot of eights on it right now. So it is my my year. I feel it. All the eights. I was yeah. actually 888 for the first week of February. So I don't know what that means, but I feel like it means oh. something. <laughs> I'm sure it's something. And I, I'm sure it's something good for sure. Yeah. Let me actually, I haven't even opened up this little envelope to see what's red inside. The sneakers as well. But yeah, so this actually came with it, and it has a little charm. I love that. Yeah, I'm like, let me show it to both cameras so everybody sees. There's actually a jump man. Let me put my hand behind it so you can see. Form, right? Can you see oh, the jump man? So cool. Yeah, you can see it. So I had seen photos of it there. online, and um, I thought it was so. I love it when um, brands and collaborations they end up adding charms or some, like other items into their sneaker drops and stuff so mm -hmm. it's beautiful and the red envelope too i love them somebody says i'm the year of the megalodon <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that's an option uh on the chinese calendar but okay <laughs> okay maybe that's another month that we don't know about <laughs> Oh, it looks like there's someone else that's here, the tiger as well in the comments. Okay. All right, Shaquem. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we think about the Palermo from Puma? I've seen them. I think I don't hate them. I think that, you know, aesthetically, they came out with some really cool colors, Takara, on that silhouette. Um, I haven't really branched out too much mm -hmm. into the, the Puma rain. I feel Likewise. like I owned... Yeah one puma in high school i wasn't huge into puma way back when um but you know i think mm -hmm. puma has really been coming out with some great silhouettes mm -hmm. uh the last mm -hmm. one i had jeff did as well mm -hmm. and um that aesthetic was like a black and white tone you can't go wrong mm -hmm. with a black and white sneaker in my opinion it's just like we're with everything <laughs> classic exactly yeah right <laughs> That's me with Adidas to go right now. It's it's hard, honestly. Somebody on the shorts was even saying like Asics is where it's at right now, and and I I feel you on that. I do think that you know brands like Asics are really having a moment. It's yeah. kind of mm -hmm. a sneaker. I feel like if you walk into a Foot Locker, you would never see on shelves, and now you're starting to see them take more shelf space. Uh, yeah. times are evolving. I think that sneakers we would never it think is. to see on shelves, like on and Hoka right now are front and center. Mm -hmm. Whenever I go into sneaker stores, that is what all the women in the women's section are mm -hmm. buying. Uh, I'm not are seeing them. Good. Yeah. Like that's kind of the movement right now. And I, I think that people are definitely getting mm -hmm. into this. I want to have a good sneaker I can work out in, but I also want a good looking sneaker where I can go out afterwards and go have brunch with my friends or go and do something, you know, fun, but still feel stylish in a way. Uh, and yeah. it's, it's always different every year. And I feel like Asics and Solomon are really doing their thing with that kind of transitional sneaker. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And I mean, when I was working for Foot Locker like 10 years ago, all the Asics that um, the store that I was working at had was the Gel Kayano 14s. And that was always like what our international customers were buying for. Most of them were, of course, like runners or really into fitness. And that was more of like a training shoe, not necessarily something that you would see out on the streets, like styling. But I love, mm -hmm. like you said, how over time it has truly evolved to something that's a real staple now. And seeing it in everyone's closets, like my sister has been also obsessed with ASICs and we have like matching ones okay. now. And she's not like All right. to like any means but she's been seeing all of these um collabs that i have and she's like i want a pair and i was like okay yeah <laughs> and i feel like asics definitely when i was going through rehab when i blew up my acl like asics that was what i wore because it was just like the only sneaker that i felt like fit my foot well and i felt like i wasn't going to hurt myself anymore yeah no you have just the <laughs> Dakar, you got the Margella Solomons? Okay. 
Okay. Look at you. I mean, this is honestly cool. the first Hoka that I've had in my collection. This is the oh, Satisfy right. collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, I think yes. we talked about this a little bit last year, <laughs> but yes. mm -hmm. this is kind of Hoka's push for more of a lifestyle silhouette. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, they're doing some fun, quirky collaboration. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what brands like Hoka and mm -hmm. Asics and the Ons decide to do. Because like Takara's saying, she's mm -hmm. got her Solomons mm -hmm. even that are Margiela. Like we're seeing these not so typical high-end designer brands deciding mm -hmm. to partner with yeah. these performance-based companies. And yes. like, mm -hmm. if I look back 20 years ago, which is kind of crazy to think about, right? Like you would right. never put two yep. types of brands together. Like I would never think that Gucci would ever partner up with a brand like Adidas. You know, those are things right. that just, they were in two separate lanes and they just kind of stayed there. And now yeah. it's just like you're seeing these collaborations on collaborations where we're getting like triple to quadruple yeah. collaborations on the sneakers. Sometimes I can't even remember. I'm like, did I forget yeah. somebody that did a collab on this or is it just me? <laughs> so much. And like Takara right. said, I think there's just so many releases. It can it can get very overwhelming. But yes. I, I do love I do love seeing all of this like innovative product coming out and with brands you didn't think would mesh but here we are yeah, here we so. are and i guess on that note as we're getting ready for valentine's day it was so sad like i was getting my donuts today from Krispy cream and the guy uh that was ringing me up or whatever it's his birthday or something but um yeah. i'm like oh yeah we were having a conversation something he was like but my heart was broken today and i was just like oh that's so sad but then the girl ratted on him and is like he's lying to you and i actually felt bad like i really felt bad for him like something had actually yeah. seriously happened but the girl ratted him out so i was like all right i don't feel bad for you, you owe me free donuts next time i come in here uh yeah exactly Why right you do that in roller coaster like. yeah because what a terrible place to be a crispy cream when yeah. it's like all decked out in valentine's day aesthetic and you're yeah. selling heart donuts but your heart's broken i'd be cutting all the heart donuts in half like here you go have a have a great valentine's day and they're like did you just cut my donut in half i'm like it's just my heart hurts <laughs> people are so sorry funny. I know people, people be like throw, throwing me for a loop sometimes and I'm so gullible sometimes. So I'll believe whatever somebody tells me. I'm like, what? <laughs> right. But this is the yeah. Nike uh, Valentine's Day, you know, push. And this is the first time I guess I could say I had it before Valentine's Day. Nice. Yeah, you know, we're like always, always getting these really afters. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like it always happens like that. They come out with these um, special holiday sneakers and they come out the day of the holiday, so I can't enjoy them on the holiday. I know. This is the first time they did it right, where it was kind of like, why don't we release this a few weeks before the actual holiday so people who actually yeah. want to wear this to celebrate the holiday can? It's always weird when you get it and then you're like, well, it's a week after Valentine's Day, so do I just redress up for the holiday and pretend and be like, hey, throwback Thursday, everyone. This is my Valentine's Day look. Yeah, exactly. I just didn't it's have like, the kicks oh, to match. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this, but, I mean, it's pretty simple. It actually really matches yeah. my headphones very, very well. Yeah, it complements it very well. I don't see this kind of pink very often, so I really like that they decided to go this direction for the Valentine's Day color. And the laces are actually not your typical lace. They're satin. So yeah. let me see if you can oh, kind of see it. They oh have a gosh. subtle sheen to them, to cars. But agreed with you, to car, especially Halloween. Halloween is the one holiday where no one ever has yeah. the shoes, <laughs> ever. Oh, no, never. It's going to be previous releases. <laughs> exactly. Previous releases yeah. on that. Um, and then we have like a really nice kind of burgundy swoosh mark you can kind of see the textures on here let me see if i can get it up closer so you can kind of see yeah, that material what kind of material is the swoosh though it's um you know it... it's actually almost like i thought it was velvet for a okay. second but this is definitely new buck ah I yeah but from buck. from afar it looks velvety which is interesting because yeah. it's got a bit more texture to it and it's very slick uh but i will say the quality on these isn't 
bad. And I won these on an in-store raffle. It was funny. The woman checking me out was like, I didn't even know these were releasing. I want them. <laughs> yeah. I love getting a finger like that. I'm like, um, oh, we just got these. These are so cute. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. they are cute. I was like, you got to snag yourself yeah. a pair. But uh, oh, somebody's like, oh, there's Mons. I know. For those of you who are just jumping on <laughs> the live where it's the, uh, you know, shorts format of vertical, we are also streaming yeah. on YouTube still, if you're on YouTube, on the vertical yeah. end of things where you can also see Mons and hear her. Or else, if you want to <laughs> stay here, I'm still relaying what Mons is sort of saying throughout. Yeah. Or if you read lips, then, you know, exactly. I think it's okay. But if you want the audio coming through, then yeah, come on over here. But, well, speaking of Valentine's Day, um, well, this isn't my pair, but my husband was able to get one of the Ooh. City of Love. Pack. This is the burgundy crush color. I and like I the burgundy crush. The lighting. Yeah, I, I actually really like them, and I can kind of give you guys a little look really quick on what they look like but they're really nice yeah and, it's got some nice um, purple like, bordeaux hues yeah. and green but it also has a vintage kind of aesthetic it looks like almost like a is it been tie-dyed almost months is there like some pixelation um, like purple on the green I, would think like a tie -dye, but I think it might just be because of the material it's kind of giving off that look oh um, okay kind of got look. it i don't Kind of material this is it's very interesting um but i love the details actually that's on the inside so on the tongue tag right here you see that thread coming through which is really cute yeah um, and then on the insult let me see if you can kind got of see details it. on there yeah i love i mean i wish oh, I could have we seen got a hand more. yeah that was cool. Um, of the sneaker, but I like that they incorporated it into the insole. And then I believe the coconut milk colorway also has that on the insole, which is really nice. And I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I love a good Bordeaux color. And the fact that it's not like all this like same purple is really nice. There's definitely some depth and some mm -hmm. contrast. So yeah, she's pretty. This isn't for me, like I said, everyone. But <sighs> I thought I would share it. Well, Di Diamond's and asking when those release because it sounds like she wants a pair. <laughs> Yeah, so for anyone who wants a pair, you know, and was considering trying to get one, yeah, they're really pretty, they're really nice. And yeah, I, nice. I don't really see this often for a Valentine's Day, like, sneakers, so they're cute. I think, when was the release date on those? Um, honestly, I know that they're still dropping on sneakers. Because I was going to so, say, I, I feel yeah. like that it, that was an early a or EA type of release, right? The one your um, hubby got? or the skate. Yeah, from the skate um, shop, yeah. From a, so a lot of the times they get them early. Um, but mm -hmm. for anyone who's still trying to get them, they actually come out tomorrow at 7 a.m. PST, depending on, of course, All what right. zone you're on. All right, Diamond. So if you want to get those dunks, check them out yep. on the Sneakers app. I feel like somebody yep, just there. asked, I think it was Willie Steen who was asking mm -hmm. about like keeping up with sneaker releases now. It's really hard, Willie, to be honest with you. Like... It has, it's been very difficult, I feel like, just because there's so many different brands coming into the mix, especially for somebody who isn't only shopping for Jordans and Nikes. Like, if you're trying to actually extend yourself into other brands, it's honestly, it's a lot to, you know, keep up with. And then, unless you're on, you know, these different social platforms and getting updates, like, a normal human being would not be able to, I feel like, keep up with like every single release that's happening. And sometimes we get shock drops or, you know, surprises and things like that. This was a pickup that I just won on a raffle uh, today. And these are the new Kobe's. So I wanted to save this for last. <laughs> you struck out. They're really nice in person. Yeah, I struck out, but it was one of those things where I already have the Halo pair um, Okay. from previous release. So getting this one was a nice to have but if i didn't get it it's okay but they look so good yeah so these I are the core purple and it released in two different color variations <laughs> i really wanted the core purple though I, I like teal but of course you know it's it's nice to have a good solid purple hue because it always reminds me of kobe in general but um they did a good job with this let me see i'll hold it up so everybody can kind of see the materials up close here nice they look so good 
yeah, every time I see a Kobe in purple, of course, it always reminds me of that. Um, but I like the fact that they added in a different color just to kind of give some variation as well. And I think they did a good job on the aqua also. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite basketball sports performance silhouettes, uh, specifically like for my feet. Uh, so I always mm -hmm. gravitate to Kobe's. I know a lot of people have, you know, been longtime fans mm -hmm. of any type of Kobe. Uh, so really excited mm -hmm. that, you know, they dropped these two different color variations. And it's something different. I like that they decided to go, you know, with the different numbers kind mm -hmm. of intertwined all over the, you know, nice. uh, mesh, which yeah. is different, something we haven't seen before. Um, and again, just, it's a nice purple. I'm weird with purples and I, I they did a good job with this purple. They really did. It's nice. Are you going to review the Air Max Plus Drift? I'm like re reading two chat boxes here. This is new for me, everyone. Okay, so, <laughs> and so Ma Mons can't see this one. So we're, we're on both. <laughs> Though I guess you could play the live as well, Mons, on your phone while we're watching this too. But um, oh, somebody's asking. Yeah, you're right. About um, the Air Max Plus Nike. Drift okay. or Nike Griffey yeah. Max One. I saw the new um, Nike Griffeys. I've always been a fan. I mean, I'm a... Seattle, I'm from Seattle, mm -hmm. huge Mariners fan. Um, mm -hmm. So I pretty much, if I can, because they're so hard to get, I always try and pick up a pair of the Griffies when they do release. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm probably going to go after those. So we'll see. I know it's been a minute since we posted, you know, some sneakers on the channel, but we're going to get back into mm -hmm. the rhythm of things and start doing our usual programmed content. And of course, Mons and I will be on yeah. as consistent as we can as well for the podcast. Yeah. Um, and Mons is actually, everybody, doing jiu-jitsu, which is so cool. So don't mess with her. You know, she's going to be my... Mons, you're going to be my security now. If I need, like, somebody to defend me, I'm like, Mons, come with me everywhere. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. But... Hello everyone, I started um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu early January and I have been loving it so far. And yeah, actually after the live, I'm going to be going to class, you know, so it's really yes. nice to show up and be consistent. So I've been doing my best to do that. And yeah, I just, I just love it. And the sense of community as well, even though I'm just starting off and I'm only one of like, it's a very male dominated, dominated space as well. So a lot of the classes that I go to, I'm also sometimes one of the only girls present. So wow. I think it's a really, really yeah. So <laughs> badass, Mons. <laughs> You're so cool. Yeah. Now we're going to have a separate channel for you, right? You're going to be starting a jujitsu, oh, like how to channel. She's going to become that good. I'm sure. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking into documenting my journey, but I'm still at the very, like, beginning of it. So just trying to get um, everything or trying to get more comfortable with it, if you will. So I am super excited to be sharing that also with you guys because I want to share that other aspect of my life in addition to, you know, sneakers and Funkos and other like an anime, like all the things that I enjoy in my life. Like that's another part that I want to definitely share with you all. So yeah, hopefully I'll be leveling up. Leveling um, up and doing those... it. For those of you who aren't <laughs> hearing Mons, she's talking about jujitsu and um, really exciting <laughs> new hobby for her. So excited for you. Willie Steen, you're slowing Thank down. You. That's that's cool, Willie. I know, you know, this yeah. this year last year i feel like people have definitely been slowing down with their sneaker pickups mm -hmm. and i feel like for everyone there shouldn't be any pressure out there for you to feel you know like you have to keep up with all of these sneaker mm -hmm. releases i think it's important for you to buy sneakers that work for you and that are your aesthetic you know i love just kind of showcasing sneakers but i don't ever want to be that person that's like you need all of these you know clearly oh, yeah. i have a i have a youtube channel that is surrounded mm -hmm. around sneakers so i am not your average human mons <laughs> is not your average human you know we're yeah. definitely creators that love this space mm -hmm. because we've been doing this and mm -hmm. we love you know picking up shoes talking about shoes styling mm -hmm. shoes and of course yeah. with this podcast we're just happy to be you know women out here in this space mm -hmm. that are able to to talk about things that excite us in the sneaker community mm -hmm. and you know there's always just fun things going on and of course drops that we're also trying to constantly keep up with 
with and understanding, you know, really? what the different companies are dropping. But again, we're, right. we're human. We're just like you. We're not computers or AI over yeah. here that are just injecting <laughs> ourselves like the matrix with downloading everything from every company. And we've got all that information in there. It's like, let me give you the lowdown on 2024. Yeah. I'm going to go through every month and tell you every hundreds and hundreds of pairs of sneakers that will be dropping from February exactly. all the way till December. You know, that would be pretty incredible. Exactly. Uh, be, but somebody's here, watching us on Apple Vision, girl. <laughs> Who's got the Apple Vision glasses? How many of you raise your hand if you're watching us on Apple Vision right now? That would be crazy. I've only seen one person that actually purchased Apple Vision, and I'm just so intrigued by it. Um, I know. It's like, you, know, you got to drop a mind. lot, Mons. What is it? Thirty thirty seven hundred dollars or something like that. I saw them at the Apple store. I put them on. I I feel like it's going to take a lot of getting used to for me to like navigate that. It's like a different world. I feel like a Black Mirror episode did something on something yeah, like this. It definitely feels right? like a Black Mirror type of product. And, mm -hmm. But then again, definitely it's Black Mirror. How, yeah. Technology moves and how it's going. So, yeah, I mean. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. One day we might just be walking around with those and everyone will have them on their faces, right? <laughs> It'll well, just be a part be of our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah. Exactly. Jer, you've tried to slow down as well. Wondering if I'm going to be doing more of my styling videos. Yes, we are definitely going to go back to the regular programming of me doing my typical unboxings. Uh, for yeah. those of you who have been watching kind of, I guess, the content that I've been pumping out, I just got back from Sundance in Park City, Utah, which is mm -hmm. one of the biggest, I would say, the biggest, most prestigious probably be film festivals for like indie films in the U.S. And, mm -hmm. you know, we as Shade TV have kind of expanded into what's called Shade Studios. So, you know, we have a full on editorial desk and we've taken on about 12 different writers. And so we'll be kind of just fusing into a larger entity. So not just covering sneakers, we'll be kind of venturing into some fun genres, specifically being movie mm -hmm. reviews and interviewing different celebrities. So if you are interested in, you know, movie reviews, topics surrounding movies and actors and actresses, we are definitely going to have that on our website, but we're also working mm -hmm. on a brand new YouTube page. So we're going to start kind of diffusing the content that we put mm -hmm. out on Shade TV that focuses primarily primarily on kind of our film and press interviews and moving those over to a completely mm -hmm. different page so that Shay TV can mm -hmm. kind of be more reserved, I guess, for She Speaks sneakers, but also just content that's more focused primarily mm -hmm. on, you know, sneakers and the releases and my pickups that I have. Uh, but would yeah. definitely be excited for all of you once, you know, we're ready to kind of push our brand new, you know, mm -hmm. channel to go on over there too, because I know... Most of you, if not all of you, watch movies in your free time. And it's just something that I love and I'm passionate about. And Mons and I also, as you've probably heard on some of our earlier podcasts, love anime. So that's something that, you know, we hope to talk about too in the future. Um, oh, yes. AJ just put it out. We were talking about oh, yeah. I think we were talking about it um, a bit ago. But I think what we're going to do in the future is kind of have one dedicated. I know we talk about she, she speaks sneakers. However, mm -hmm. we also have very many interests. And I think a lot of people also really, excuse me, really enjoy anime. So I think we might have like one dedicated episode here and there to specific topics like yes. anime or like, like um, pop culture, things like that. So um, we'll definitely be sure to notify everybody what type of episode uh, we'll be having so that we can yeah. kind of um, delve into all of our interests. So Exactly. Yeah. She speaks anime as well. And Mons and I are excited because I guess Mons, for the first time ever, we're going to get to meet at San Diego Comic-Con. So definitely yeah. maybe what we should do moving forward, Mons, is having people vote on what we should dress up as for Comic-Con. Yeah. Yes. Um, Tell us so what sneakers you want us to wear as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, well, for those who don't know, San Diego Comic Con happens every July, so summertime here at the San Diego Convention Center. Mm -hmm. So this will be the first year that um, I'll be, well, not the first year, I've been to past um, Comic Cons, but this will be the first time Marissa and I will be together. Yes. So we are trying to plan some like cosplay. So I think it's going to be so much fun. But if you have any recommendations on maybe some ideas, 
that you'd like to see, let us know because it's going to be a long five days. So yeah, it um, is. We're going to have plenty of opportunities to dress up. So for those of you who can't hear Mons, maybe we'll start a poll. So every time we go live, I'll put up some kind of poll and you all can have at it and pick some options for us to dress up as. And of course, what sneakers we should be wearing. We're definitely thinking about the Powerpuff Girls. That may have to be a yes. must because of course we've got the dunks for that. Um, yep. It'll be interesting though. Maybe we'll get some fun sneakers this year too that we can kind of coordinate yeah. into the looks that we go for. Somebody's voting for yeah. Zatanna. You guys have someone else with you. Then you guys could go as YRP from FF. X. Okay. All right. We got some, we got some options here. We'll start making some different polls for sure. Yeah, we will definitely filter through, um, and see what we can work with. But like you said, we are definitely going to be incorporating sneakers into mm -hmm. these outfits. So stay tuned for that. And yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it because I've never cosplayed before, like to this level. So you're pressured Mons, everyone. I'm making her cosplay with me. <laughs> No, I have always no, like, wanted to do it. You're doing ever. it. it is in the summer here. Um, so. Oh I'm my God. Like, it, no <laughs> joke, Mons. I surprised I survived last year. No, that's why I have to give it to you because all of your cosplays are fantastic. And the fact that you did that with the weather that we had, I got it. Kudos to you. But Terrence is going with Catwoman. Guy. He's funny. Fun. Catwoman, huh? I feel like we could definitely, we were thinking of doing something from X-Men even because Ronnie did that yeah. club last year. So that could yeah. be something for sure on the table. Uh, for definitely. those of you who are on both of these, it looks like AJ did put up our new page, which should have a mm -hmm. link on there for Shade Studios. Uh, so if you mm -hmm. do enjoy the content that we bring on, on the channel right now, currently revolving around movies and our press interviews definitely head on over there and subscribe to that channel uh would love to have your support over there as well and um we just announced today actually we're going to be at south by southwest uh which will be my very first time i'm super excited for those of you who've been uh definitely give me some tips this will be my first year i'm super excited uh but okay. there'll be a lot of movie premieres uh going on there i think actually air last year premiered at south by southwest and i think did Barbie oh. premiere there too, I think? They had their world uh, premiere there. So it's a pretty okay. big uh, film festival event mm. where some of the biggest movies actually do their world premieres. So really excited okay. to see who will be premiering their films this year. And it's nice. also a music festival, Mons. It's like this, it's everything all rolled up That's into content. one. Nice. Yeah. Tech. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to the content. For yes, sure. and there'll be there'll be <laughs> plenty of content, um, but I know Mons, you're gonna have to have a hard stop here. So, everyone who jumped in on any of these lives, whether you were on the shorts live or this, you know, horizontal live with Mons and I, or on any of the other platforms, thank you so much for jumping on board with us. I know that we haven't been on for the past month, but we're back at it, and we're hoping to do this live stream once a week. If you're not already yeah. following Mons. Mons, uh, let them know where they can find you. Yeah. So in terms of social media platforms, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, what else? Threads. Threads. There's so yeah. many platforms, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I know there's so many platforms, but yeah, my main right. ones you'll see me the most active in will be um, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Though That's my most active ones. I am trying to be more present on Twitter, but yeah, that's probably one of the goals this year is be more present on Twitter and be it's more engaging. <laughs> if you're on that platform, yeah, you'll you'll see you'll be seeing more of me. But yeah, thank you all for the support as always and thank you for having me on here. And yeah, I'm just so excited to be back on this live and just talking about the things we love. So yeah, yeah, well, happy to be back on here with you, Mons. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, I guess this is my first live technically this year. So yeah, good to see you all back in here. Really excited for 2024. I hope all of you have had a great start to this year. And I'm wishing you all the best. And we'll catch you all next week. And Mons is going to go kick butt in her jiu-jitsu class. And I'm just going to be awaiting <laughs> her to defend me. <laughs> yes, always. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in and for everyone who's new so excited to have you as a part of the community and we will see you all at the next live
All right. Be sure to hit that subscribe as well, everyone. Um, and check out our memberships if you have not already. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Good night.